Hello everyone, my name is Kaz and today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I plan on reading during the Magical Readathon Christmas at Hogwarts. I love the concept of the Magical Readathon and G from Book Roast just outdoes herself every single time with the new little fun things that she does in each round so I'm really really excited for the Christmas edition. This round of the Magical Readathon is going to be running from the 17th until the 26th of December. I'll have a link down below to the announcement video and the Twitter account so you can find out a little more information. But essentially this is what the challenge sheet looks like. So you basically kind of choose your path. There are six different levels of challenges. You start at the top here and you have to follow a path of footsteps and there's only you can only go down you can't go up and across and things like that you've got to follow the footsteps in the direction that they go so the first challenge is to finish your coursework which is to finish the book that you're currently reading things might change within the next week so i haven't specified which book i'm going to be reading for this particular challenge the next challenge is either help hagrid decorate the trees which is to read a book with a gold detail on the cover or have a snowball fight with the weasley twins and this this is to read a book that you think will be humorous. So I'm going to go with Help Hagrid Decorate the Trees. The book with some gold details on it that I'm choosing for this challenge is City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. As you can see, it's quite shiny. There's definitely some gorgeous gold details going on here. So this is perfect. So moving down to the next challenge, it is Visit the Three Broomsticks for Mulled Pixie Wine. And this is to read a book that you think you will finish in one day or one evening. I have chosen a book that won't take me very long at all. It is Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise Part 1. It's a graphic novel and it's very, very short, so this won't take me long at all. After completing that challenge, we now have three different options. There's exchange presents at your common room, and this challenge is to read a book that focuses on friendship. There's sneak into the kitchen to gift Dobby odd socks. This challenge is to read a book with clothing on the cover. And the final challenge is to attend a Yule Ball, and this is to read a book that you've been preparing for for a while. I'm going with the challenge to have clothing on the cover. I could have gone for either of the two options here, but I wanted one of these challenges for the next step. So I'm going with the clothing on the cover. That book is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. As you can see, we have a lovely character on the cover here, and she is in fact wearing clothing. So, uh, definitely counts. From this challenge, there's only two different challenges that I can continue on to. The other ones are to fly around the snowy Hogwarts grounds. This is to read a book with a building on the cover. And then the other option was bring a festive treat to Hedwig at the Owlery. And this is to read a book with an animal on the cover or in the title. Can't do either of those. We either have put on your Molly's knitted sweater. That challenge is to read a book where the parents are present in the story or a book that has a focus on family or use the invisibility cloak to get to the restricted section and that is to read a banned book. Now I thought it really fitting that I include at least one Harry Potter related book in this readathon. So I'm going with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, of course. I'm actually going to be listening to the audiobook for this one and I'm very, very excited about it. This is a banned book. It's been banned many, many times. Uh, if you want to hear a little bit more on some of the reasons why, I actually did a video in September talking about my favourite books that have been banned and I chat about Harry Potter a little bit there. So I'll link that down below. The final challenge at the very bottom is to attend the Christmas feast. And this challenge is not a reading challenge, but it is basically a watching challenge or prompt, whatever you will. And that is to watch a Harry Potter movie. I feel like after I finish reading Harry Potter, I'll probably want to watch the movie. So I think it works out well. But that wraps up my to read pile for the Magical Readathon Christmas at Hogwarts. That's all that I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in a new video. But until then, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye!